and this is where the IAT, IAAT really comes into play, um, because what it does is it allows us to identify at the end of that compacted math program, identify strengths for the students. So we know as they head into eighth grade as an algebra student, what we can continue to uh, focus on. It also provides us for, with information about areas that might need some, um, just some spiraling back to them because that is a lot of math standards, a great deal of them in one year. So we share that with our algebra teachers in our eighth grade year so that they can really customize the instruction that students receive based on, partly based on those results. We have found that it does help us to understand the, really the, the picture for each of those students as they're headed into algebra. And it really does help us to increase their pathway to success. Um, typically with our eighth grade algebra students, we see almost 100% passage on the Ohio end of courses exam. Um, I think out of roughly 90 students last year, we maybe had two who did not meet the proficient indicator. 100% of our students met the competent indicator. So that meant that all of the students who were in our algebra pathway met that graduation requirement for Ohio. They have their algebra one credential completed. And, that, and this information from this assessment really does help us focus that instruction for those students. How did you know which students were ready for algebra prior to this, this process? Well, that's a good question because we did use a number of criteria, sixth grade criteria coming out of uh, into the seventh grade year. Uh, we use state testing as an indicator, which is okay. It does provide some information, but it's not nearly as focused on some of the foundational skills that are required for algebra success. We would use teacher recommendations before that. Uh, we would use some growth measure assessments that we use here in the district. The real difference is that um, this particular assessment really pinpoints those areas that are specific to algebra, mm -hmm. but that are very focused on the skills that, are, that the students will need to be successful in an algebra classroom. Um, that an algebra teacher would often assume that the student has when they get to, to that class, because these are all prerequisites for, for those students. Again, compacting that seventh and eighth grade year is a lot. I mean, even for students who are really excited about math and who have voluntarily decided to do this, um, that is still a lot of standards. Um, and it can, if we're not careful, it can be easy to lose some of those standards in that instruction. So this helps us to refocus that. Great. What was the tipping point where you decided that you needed a, a new process? Um, we were starting to see students who got to the algebra and we were having to do remediation in, in instruction, meaning we were missing some of the foundational skills they needed to move forward. And realized, we realized that we, because of the number of standards that we were using, we weren't, we weren't completely sure as to exactly which ones the kids were, were missing. So this process really did allow us to identify what we needed to provide for them as they moved to that eighth grade year and embarked on that algebra journey. So once we started to see that, we realized we need to see this in a, in a much more granular way. We needed to see it specifically which part of those two years of standards we needed to strengthen for those students mm -hmm. and which we needed to provide those teachers with uh, that information so that they can uh, work with those students directly. Great. Typically for the, the students, it is, um, I just need to maybe brush up on a standard or re, uh, revisit it so that they can be successful in the algebra classroom. Great. We have found that it helps more even than the state assessments because you're right, they're, those are on standard, which are great, but they're not as foundational as maybe some of the questions here. So it really helps us guide our own instruction.